I pulled about 15 signs at an intersection one day. It took me 30 minutes. Like dandelions, campaign signs are popping up everywhere. Some people's signs are all over the place, but other people's signs aren't. And depending on where they're placed, some are removed. We call it a sign pull, so if it's in the right of way, we pull them. It's election season, so campaign signs are littering the streets. During the sign sweep a few weeks ago, a little over 2,000 signs were tossed. Uh, most definitely during, you know, always during election years, there's, there's always an increase of it. There are guidelines, and Franklin says if they're unsure, they won't toss a sign. Right away varies from road to road. Uh, we use utility poles, uh, right away markers, fire hydrants. It doesn't matter what the sign says. If it's in the wrong area, it's going to be tossed. I have a business in this shopping center. Sometimes I try to promote my business and they get taken down right away. And the uh, political signs, they're always there. Barreto put several signs up and says it costs anywhere from $20 to $40. I just don't do it anymore because it's a waste of money and time. To samples, it's a never-ending process. I'll come pull from an intersection like where we're at now. I'll come back by here tomorrow and they're right back out. But to some... I think that the signs should be able to be out there for people to see. In Decula, Laura Holm, GBC News.